Melanie here with Eyes on the Game. I'm here at Mayweather Boxing Club being joined by former world champ boxer, Ms. Layla McCarter. Uh, now, you're getting ready to train. Can you talk a little bit more about uh, your fight coming up? Uh, we're possibly fighting in February, possibly for Mayweather Promotions. Um, you know, talks are in the works right now, and we should be busy in February. But right now, I'm just getting back in shape and getting ready for whatever's coming. Now, are there any opponents in mind? Uh, of course, this year, the biggest fight to be made would be Cecilia Brackus, the unified welterweight champion, and myself. Uh, Cecilia is currently rated number one as the unified welterweight champion, and I'm currently number three. She's fighting the number two, Clara Svensson, so we'll see how that fight shakes out, and um, I'm looking forward to that fight this year. Now, with this being the new year, it's already 2017. What are some goals you'd like to accomplish this year, um, having already accomplished so much? Uh, this year, I just want to stay busy. I want to get uh, more active, and I want to have some uh, high-profile fights as far as TV, Showtime. Uh, Showtime said they're televising women's boxing this year, and um, some of the other networks as well. So I'm, I'm thinking this might be a big year for women's boxing. Now, saying you would like to fight frequently, ideally, how often is that? Well, at least four times a year would be great. You know, in the last few years of my career, it's been, you know, two fights a year, one fight a year. Um, it's not quite enough for me. I'd like to I'd like to fight every week, honestly. But um, in reality, four fights a year would be excellent. Well, it's good that you're always staying ready. Um, but someone who just fought this past weekend, and I know it's someone you're a bit familiar with. You have called her out in the past. Uh, Ronda Rousey made her anticipated uh, return. What did you think of her fight against the bantamweight champion, Amanda Nunez? I was quite shocked, really. I don't follow MMA that, that closely. And, um, you know, I didn't know what to expect, but... It, it was pretty exciting the way Nunez came out and got it done. And, um, you know, um, that was striking, all striking. So it was, it was pretty entertaining. Yeah. And what about, you know, take us back to uh, last year or 2015 when you did uh, call out Rhonda. And I think she at that time was talking about maybe doing stuff in boxing or just throwing it out there. Let us know, like, what was going on in 2015 and what happened. Well, the only thing that got everybody talking was that Rhonda was talking about boxing. And um, the boxing community was like, hey, girl, stay in your lane. And that's basically what I was saying. If, if she wants to come over and think that she can be a world champion in boxing, you know, that's um, it's insulting, really, because she's an MMA fighter. She spent her whole life in MMA. And this is a different game, totally, as, as proven by the two strikers that knocked her out. Um, you know, they beat her with the hands. So if she was to get in a boxing room with somebody at the top levels, uh, it wouldn't be pretty either. So really, that that's what it was, you know. And then uh, Holly Holm kind of made the point for me, so I didn't have to talk anymore. <laughs> so after watching her past a few fights, realistically, how long do you think she would have to train with a boxing coach to, you know, be a better striker? Uh, she could, could just keep improving, get better all the time, but it's a lifetime. You know what I mean? Uh, experience is everything, and I've been in this sport as a professional for 18 years. So, I mean, you know, the fights are where you learn, you know, in a boxing fight. She can't just learn, uh, you know, from one month to another. I know she's a great athlete, and I know she can keep improving. I hope she does keep improving, but, you know, it's not something you just walk in off the street and, yeah. and become the best at. You just don't. Do you have any words for her, you know, after this loss? And, and do you think she'll be done? You know, I have no hard feelings toward Rousey. I, I think she's a great fighter. I respect her very much in the judo and what she's done for MMA. She's a great fighter. But this is boxing. Again, this is what we do. You know, and I hope that Ronda Rousey is able to hold her head up high and, and be proud of the things she's done for MMA. Because, you know, she broke through in the sport and did a lot of things for publicity and um, you know, I wish her the best. I hope she's able to move on, keep doing whatever makes her happy, you know, do the movies and the, you know, MMA and stuff.